Yo, what is going on everyone? It's Toby here and today we're going to be heading to the drag strip for the first time since Sally has been Whipple supercharged. So we're going to see what times we can set down. It's going to be a little bit sketchy because I'm running a stock MT82 that has a bunch of problems, stock half shafts. So if anything breaks, it's okay. I'll get the car towed back to my house and I'll fix it up. Anyways, I'm pretty much all set to go. My cat has been meowing nonstop. So Zoro, come here. Uh, but we need to grab Octane Booster real quick and then Cody's gonna be downstairs. I think the gate just called him in. We're gonna head straight to the track and we're gonna give you guys comparison between a stock 5.0 and a Whipple Supercharged 5.0. The cool thing is, is that Cody's car is actually an MT82 six speed manual as well. All right, so if we move my wetsuit out of the way, here's the secret sauce. We're gonna need this Octane Booster to make sure that we don't have any knocking because the gas quality around here has been horrible recently. That box right there, we actually have a carbon fiber deck lid but we're not going to install that probably until I get back because I'm going straight from the drag strip to Orlando tonight. Here's a brief little apartment tour. So we just moved here like a month ago. Here's the living room and the kitchen. So obviously the kitchen's right there. And then we have Leo in the corner. Hey Leo, say what's up. Yes, sir. How you doing, bro? And then out there, we can see that we have an oceanfront view. So if you want to surf, which I've been doing since forever, you just go down the elevator and paddle out. So Cody just called me right now. We need to hop in the elevator, get down to Sally in the garage, and head out to Palm Beach International Raceway. This is going to be absolutely insane. Quick little fit check while we're in the elevator. I got the creams on, so we're going to be dripping out at the drag strip. We're going to see how sick this new garage is. So if I open this door right here, Sally's right around the corner. There she is. Here's a quick little rundown as to what's different on Sally since the last video. So I put the bead locks back on, obviously, because we're going to the drag strip. I can't daily drive those 100%. That is extremely dangerous. And I did some sort of tin kit. So this tint is actually from Anchor Room and it's a marker tint. So you can see that the orange is deleted right there and then that's blacked out. I also did that insane new RTR grill with custom aftermarket switchback. So if I unlock the car, you can see how it turns orange and the turn signals are like that. We also did an an insane exhaust so I can't really say what we did for legal reasons basically I did high flow long tube headers and the car absolutely screams so we got to do a cold start real quick all right Sally we're ready to hear you scream so let's hop in and wiggle wiggle make sure that we're in neutral this is nuts everyone gets so mad in this parking garage but Number two, my turn signal is actually still going. What the new exhaust sounds like from inside of the car. So it does significantly drone when you're normally driving. Let me turn off that turn signal. We don't need it anymore. Oh, okay, we're good now, but I need to wait till Sally gets warmed up and then we're good. Cody's already here, so we need to get upstairs. I need to put the handbrake up and this is how loud she is when you go into first. Oh my God. So she screams. I wasn't really trying to make everyone upset within the garage because I've already had a bunch of dirty looks, but we need to go meet Cody. He's up at the lobby. And this is going to be the first time that everyone on the channel has seen Cody's new 5.0. So it's Kona Blue. We've done some mods to it within the past week and it looks absolutely insane. I can't wait to show you guys. There's Bozo 5.0. So that's the Kona Blue Mustang that I was talking about, Cody's new car. You still need to take a piss, man? What's up? No, I'll go to a gas station, I need gas too. Okay, all right, bet, let's go. This is low-key super hype. So we got 33 minutes and Cody's right behind me. We have to show his 5.0, it's way too clean. So he's got that thing lowered already. It's almost pretty much slammed to the ground and it's all blacked out with tints and everything. Looks awesome. If I'm being 100% honest, I'm kind of scared here because the car was having some issues with the cylinder misfire because the injector wasn't working correctly. Now I got it replaced, but it seems like I'm still running a little bit rich. If it's running rich by the time I get to the track and I do some data logging on the way, then I'm not going to run it. I'm just going to watch Cody go in his stock 5.0. But yeah, you gotta love the traffic. So whenever it's like five, six o'clock, everyone's getting off of work and you can never get anywhere on this road. We had to make
make a quick gas station stop before we went to the drag strip, but a follower just pulled up next to me in his wide body FRS. That is so dope. Bro, I'm going to put you in the vlog. I'm going to put you in the vlog. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Nice to meet you. See ya. Cody's behind it. Bozo 5 -0. Here comes Cody. That color looks really good. I like it just as much as the grabber line. He actually just did his calipers. I'll show you in a second. Gas prices are absolutely ridiculous. So $5.30 for 93. But here's Bozo 5 -0. Now everyone's super confused why I keep calling it Bozo 5 -0, but that's literally his Instagram, Bozo 5 -0. So I think Cody's on iBack Pro, right? Oh, iBack Sportline. Sportline, and it looks super good. But these were the painted calipers that I was talking about. They're like, I don't even know. What's that color? Like grabber blue. Grabber blue, yeah, it looks dope. <laughs> it wasn't pumping for a second, but here's the lineup. Cody's got Euros, Sally right there. Mean, we're ready for the strip. I'm behaving like a little kid right now, but that's just because I'm excited. We're ready to go, we're all fueled up. We're riding out right now, that's Cody's car. It looks really good at night. That color suits it extremely well with how he has it set up. He's getting some quick little rolling clips. He should give us a little pull, but I don't think he has that much space out here in Tijuana. We finally got here, but it started to drizzle a little bit, so I'm concerned. But you just pay right here at the gate, they let you in, and we have a fuel. I don't know why I stuttered, it's because I was trying to put it in neutral, but there's a new super up there, so an A90, and I think there's a B58 BMW. So we're looking at like an M340i or something like that, but we're gonna go ahead and pay the fees and enter real quick. I guess these are the guys that are going out on the track. I'm so excited, man. Uh, so we're supposed to go that way to the left and then they like give you the numbers and everything They write it on your car. Follow this road and go straight back. I'll just follow you because I've never Okay, yeah. Right now we're going straight back to get the numbers written on our car. It's basically like pre-registering and making sure that your car is compliant and safe to run. So <laughs> now I have to fill out this paper and get my numbers written. So I'm going to hop outside the car and do that real quick. That R8 looks super menacing, so it has some sort of custom exhaust that comes out of the bumper. Oh man, probably a twin turbo one. And then there's that Super that I was talking about earlier. You gotta fill out this bad boy real quick, but check out that Super Snake. That is so dope. It's on welds and everything. I'm trying to reach so you guys can see, but that thing is awesome. Here's the last step. So the car is getting inspected right now. Cody's still over there filling out his papers. I don't know what's taking him so long. It's been raining a little bit, so it might get canceled, but Cody just got his numbers sorted out and everything. And here he comes. But he's gonna do a practice burnout real quick before we head on the strip, so let's see it. <laughs> Not quite, that's why we're practicing before. Here's another attempt. Oh, there we go. Alright, Cody, you're good, you're good, you're good. <laughs> Bro, Cody, you're like, yeah, I'm just gonna roast these brand new tires real quick. <laughs> I was like thinking like a short one and this man just like, yeah, let me just let it rip. <laughs> yeah. Sally here doesn't have any line lock because Palm Beach Bozo didn't tune it back in. So doing a burnout is going to be a lot more difficult for me. I'm going to give it a shot so I don't embarrass myself on the strip. No, it's hard. Put on the gas No, hit okay now. So the line lock doesn't work at all. If we go in the track app menus, something is very wrong with the tune. So we go into line lock, we press OK, track app canceled. I mean, it's doing weird stuff like that anyways, but hold OK, track app canceled. You see, it's not even working right now, but I got it to work further than that. And then it said line lock is not available. So I'm not really sure how to do a burnout without line lock because I've never done it without it. Last time I went to the drag strip when Sally was NA in stock, I did it with line lock. So I'll have to figure that out. We're still in the staging area. They're gonna make a call as to whether or not it's canceled, but we're gonna air down the bead locks right now. Cody's getting out the air compressor. I don't even know what it's at right now. That's probably a 10 speed. That's super clean on bead locks and everything. Yeah, I said 18 PSI. Yeah, Cody's gonna do everything here to avoid that third gear lockout when he goes. Me too with the MTD2, yeah. except that I have the chance of blowing mine up. Cody, not so much. We're just gonna go straight to fourth, I think. It's probably better. <laughs> just skip it. Look at these R8s, man. It's like Andino's. Same spec, but this one's on nicer wheels. Carbon fiber all over. That is clean. Yeah, Saul's yeah, about to flake. Position. Yeah, Saul's gonna flake on us, I think. Come on, Saul. You gotta show up for the vlog. Yeah, show up for the vlog, Saul. Cody, if I'm being completely honest, I think you should go against the Civic. I don't want to get embarrassed. 
Bro, look at that. What is that? A six forty i? That's clean, dude. That thing is clean. Looks like a spaceship. Look at that coyote. I like the color. The twister orange. For sure. Alrighty, boys. So this is Cody's first time ever going. You excited? Oh, I'm pretty excited. I'm scared <laughs> that I'm gonna miss third gear, but we're gonna nah, see what happens. Nah, he won't. He's gonna run 12.5 at 123 miles an hour. We'll give it a shot. Let's see. Let's see what his time slip is. What's up? I was the kid that commented on your post and was like, "Is that Palm Beach Jupiter? Really? Or is that Mexico Jupiter? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your name, bro? Christian. Toby. Nice, nice to meet you. you. I swear I saw him. I knew I saw him. <laughs> yeah, it's over there. Yeah. Cody's now getting ready to go, so we have to unload his car because he has floor jacks. I mean, don't even ask. That's just in case I need to take off the beadlocks on the way to Orlando after this. So, so we got... Find their jack. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to put it on the floor. Nobody's going to scoop it up. I mean, everyone has tools out here. There's literally trailers of tools all over. Here he comes, man. I'm really excited to see what he runs. If anything, if I can't launch Sally due to running Rich and the other issues that I'm having, I'll probably make a pass in Cody's car. I can only imagine what Cody's feeling right now. I remember the first time I went, I was pretty nervous. So here he is in the lineup. Cody. What's up? You've got one of the cleaner cars here, bro. I, I gotta know, say. Do your paint wise, probably one of the better looking ones. I think you should go against the Sheepy Race R8 right there. No? Look at these boys right here. Not playing around. <laughs> Bro. While Cody's waiting in the line, we're gonna watch this B58 Supra go against, I think that's some sort of Merc, maybe an old C63. Now they're getting ready to launch. Oh, time for the kitty. Burnout. Here they go. Let's see it. Eleven three. Ooh, no way. Here comes Cody. I can't wait to see if he runs. There he is. I think Cody's getting the jitters. He's pretty excited. Last time I went with Chris, he was so nervous. Something happened with that golf out there, so they're pushing it back right now. Might get a little delay in Cody's run right now. I think you got it. Just gotta do a burnout and you're good, man. I'll launch at 3,500 see what happens. 3,500 RPMs? Okay. All right, Cody, you gotta do your burnout. Oh, here he goes. Palm Beach Dino isn't responding to my emails for a retune after that uh, header work I did. My friend was like, want me to tell him to respond to your email? And he's there at the Palm Beach Dino tent. So Palm Beach Bozo needs to get on their act. Cody, what happened, man? 14 seconds, too much uh, wheel hop out of this thing. Too much wheel hop. I gotta so he's going to air down and launch at a lower RPM, 2,500 maybe? Yeah, we'll try that. I need to practice my burnouts a little bit, so I'm going over there so I don't embarrass myself. The lack of line lock is uh, all on Palm Beach Dino. This is super sketchy, so my friend said 5,000 RPMs, dump the clutch, and go to the gas. Uh, I don't know about this. I'm not feeling too good about this, Cody. All right. Nope. And that was a hard launch. It was a left hook. Okay, so the thing that I'm having trouble with is coming from the clutch to the brake. I go way too harsh. He said that's what'll happen. You'll stall out if you slam the brake too hard. Too hard on the brake. Saw you actually pulled through this time. What'd you bring? The C8? Yeah, 
Bring the C8 and a candle as a gift. <laughs> <laughs> Should we run it? I think Cody versus me, and then I'll go against the C8 if we have some time. What do you think, Saul? Good to me. E for sure. <laughs> Cody recently picked up this shift knob. He doesn't like the colors, so I thought that this would match with Sally's calipers really well. So we're gonna slap that on real quick before I make it pass. Now I said before, Honda blew its shit all over the track, so we can't go right now. On goes the new shift knob. So uh, Cody, uh, you want to do it clockwise? There you go. Hopefully it aligns correctly. If not, we'll have an issue. Oh, yep. We ended up taking this one off or we weren't even able to put it on because it's not the right size. So I don't think this is for a Mustang. The reverse lockout wasn't working. Big rips. Cody, you gotta get your money back. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Cody and I decided to get some pizza real quick. They're still waiting to clean up the track. So, <laughs> dude, that's clean. Both of those. I like the colors. Who <laughs> shot that NA saw? My turn to do my official first pass with Sally since I've had the whip installed. Sorry, you guys probably can't hear me over that, but I'm gonna be going against Cody. Let's see how this turns out. I'm kind of sketched out for the MT82. Last couple of things I gotta grab out of Cody's car because we're going against each other, so his car has to be as light as possible. It's a fuel hat remover, so like when I remove my fuel hat and put the new one in, it makes it easy. Right, just grab it right out. <laughs> so I gotta flex real quick, taking out my tires. Saul's gonna be the cameraman. I don't know if I trust him on this one, but he's gonna try his best. He's gonna stand in the middle when both of us launch. Wait, what was that, Saul? Yes, sir. You're recording. I'm recording. <laughs> <laughs> got it? Sheesh! We got Tovert. Okay. About to run a nine second. We got Cobozo. Cobozo 5 0. About to run a 15 6. Uh, I know it's probably your first time here, but you should turn on your advanced track. You hold it for five seconds. Yeah. I don't know, tip from a pro, I guess. There he goes. What a guy. Don't stall, okay? Bro, got the calculator screen. There we go. Calculator screen. Okay. Alright, go ahead. stuff shapey race twin turbo r8 against missing fog glide super M mk5 <laughs> Two. A slight interruption. No clue. Transmission. No.
expected it. He did. 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 He Alrighty boys, so on my pass, I blew out the half shaft completely. It's on video. I'm not sure if you can hear the pop over the exhaust, but we got boys pushing it in the back. And thankfully other guys out here with the S550s are gonna get us covered. So they're gonna put half shafts so I can at least drive home. I mean, <laughs> it was pretty loud though. It was like a bah! Thank God we have people out here that know what they're doing with half shafts and extra half shafts in their trunks. So they have this S550 right there. I think that's a 5.0. We thought it was a Super Snake earlier. Oh yeah, you can see the badge, 5.0. Yeah. And then they got the GT350 and they're putting in a new half shaft for us real quick. That's super lucky. Oh yeah, the other 5.0 with the parachute. Cody's showing you guys here why you shouldn't uh, not build to power. So whenever you build a boosted 5.0, build it right. Right, Cody? That's right, you half shafts. Now they're putting it back on. This is the 5.0 that I was talking about on welds. That is so nice. Pretty sure it's Pro Charge too. And they got the GT350 right there. We're gonna return these to our friends. Thankfully they had the spline to put that back on. We're on our way to Orlando now. We're in a rush, it's super late, but we're airing up the back tires because we forgot to do so at the tracks. So we're gonna make sure everything's good to go. I need to fuel up real quick and put in some Octane Booster because you don't know what type of gas you're getting anymore. It's been really poor quality as of recently. I pre-mixed, so I have about eight ounces right here or so, maybe a little bit less, probably six. We're gonna put this funnel into the gas cap, just like that, stick this bad boy in there. And now it's time for our Octane Booster. So about six ounces is going straight into the tank and then we'll put in regular 93. You just do this as a sort of precaution or safety measure. Because there's a bunch of, <laughs> what's up? We saw them earlier at the drag strip. What's up guys? As I was saying, basically it's just more resistance to knock. That's why you put this in your higher octane. We're currently hauling to Orlando, but I can't believe I actually snapped a half shaft. That was one of my biggest fears that I would do that. And honestly, I just slipped the clutch a lot and I was surprised. I just heard a big boom and it was out. Thankfully that guy was there though and they had an extra half shaft that they could switch in. But I wanted to show you all this insane fog on the way to Orlando. Like I've never seen fog like this on the turnpike out here on I Tijuana, but this is insane. We'll be in Orlando soon though. Boom, fast forward a couple of days and we're officially back from Orlando. So my week in Orlando was pretty cool. I hung out with Cody and the whole crew. Now you guys do in fact need to meet Max, but I really ended up getting screwed at the drag strip and I'll explain why in just a second. The guy there that actually ended up putting in a new half shaft charged me $500 for an OEM Ford half shaft that usually costs about $30 for two. Mind you, only the driver's side popped. So he really overcharged me and scammed me. Initially, he told me it's gonna be a hundred bucks and we're set and then at the end he was like you know what give me 500 so I had no option and I didn't want to wait for a tow truck all night so I kind of just bit the bullet and took the loss anyways I guess I learned an important lesson people don't always have the best intentions even though it seems like they're trying to help you out but to get back on a positive note I actually just put this new deck lid on Sally because I broke my old one and the fitment is a hundred times better I used to have a huge gap right there I need to clean up my mess a little bit this is the old deck lid that I was talking about it's hydro dipped it's not real carbon fiber but this one was badly damaged and the fitment was horrible. So a bunch of dirt got behind it. I think I'm just gonna toss this one in the garbage because it's completely broken. That being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll go back to the drag strip one more time, but I think I'm gonna stick to roll races. So I will see you guys in the next one.